Hello everybody, I'm Gleb and right now we're going to talk about 5G advanced antenna systems. So what is it advanced antenna system? Uh, this is the combination of uh, advanced hardware such as uh, antenna arrays with multiple antenna elements and um, software features such as beamforming, um, massive uh, MIMA with multiple layers for single user for multi-user MIMA. So by default in 5G and R um, it's considered the massive antenna arrays with uh, uh, cross polarization elements. Let's look at my example. Here we can see the um, 64 uh, X polarization elements. Uh, all of these um, elements divided into sub-arrays. Sub-arrays uh, is good in terms of um, ability. It gives ability for the whole system to steer beam, to manage beam. Um, we can divide uh, the whole antenna system into sub-arrays in uh, horizontal direction or in vertical directions. In horizontal, it's good for uh, forming and managing beam uh, into horizontal. And in verticals, it gives the possibility to such antenna uh, to manipulate a beam in vertical. So it's uh, very important to know and understand what uh, exactly do you need for your network. For example, for rural areas, uh, you need to deploy probably only antenna system with uh, uh, horizontal uh, sub-arrays because uh, only in horizontal direction you need to um, beam steering ability. For dense urban, for urban environment, uh, probably you need to deploy sub-arrays with uh, not only horizontal ability but also with uh, vertical uh, with vertical um, divided elements in order to steer beams in vertical direction as well and serve users uh, in verticals. Uh, so this is the sub-array. Each sub-array uh, consists, uh, consists of two RF chains. It means that one RF chain for each polar polarization it doesn't matter actually how many antenna elements inside the sub-array. It can be like this sub-array with eight antenna elements or with two um, cross-polarized -polar antenna elements. It means that in any cases there will be just two RF chains for each polarization. It means two uh, transmitters for uh, one sub-array. That's why here 16 sub-array, because this is 8 uh, sub-arrays. Uh, for each sub-array we use 2 RF chain. It means 16 uh, transmitters overall for the whole system. We can divide um, even further like this. Yes, let's assume that we divide our antenna system in more sub-arrays to give the possibility for beam steering in vertical direction. In this case will be 64, 64 uh, transmitters and um, there will be a little bit difference because um, when it comes to antenna gain Antenna gain uh, depends on the number of all antenna elements for all antenna. Uh, so antenna gain will be the same for the first example or for uh, this example. But the sub-array gain would be different because sub-array gain related to the number of X-pole elements in sub-array. More sub-array, uh, more elements in sub-array we have, the more gain uh, such antenna sub-array can give us. So here let's assume uh, two uh, uh, cross elements per sub-array. 
Yes, and here let's assume that we have uh, this one subarray with eight antenna elements and this will give us plus 6 dB beam power, yeah? Uh, because uh, here in um, four times, in four times uh, more antenna elements than here. So uh, let's continue to talk about multiple uh, sub-arrays, about uh, multiple antenna systems. Uh, 3GPP has further classification for advanced antenna systems. Uh, such antenna systems can be as a single panel when uh, we have a single panel with cross elements and inside this panel uh, divided into sub-arrays as we will already talk. It can be uniform multi-panel so uh, just uh, one panel divided into multiple panels and it can be non-uniform multi-panel um, is when the distance between cross elements, the nearest cross elements of uh, two or uh, many panels is uh, more than the distance um, in this case or uh, the distance between the cross elements. Uh, like in my example, as you can see, D3 is larger than uh, D1 or D2, and D1 and D2 is equal. Uh, so what uh, gives us uh, such way of um, Massive MIMA implementation? Uh, let's look at this. Um, it gives us the multiple combinations of MIMA and beamforming. We can use one antenna panel for one beam, for generated just one uh, but very powerful beam, uh, using analog beam forming, for example. Um, the second case is we can uh, use two antenna panels, two antenna panels for generating two beams, and this will be MIMA 2 by 2 or we actually uh, can uh, divide our single panel into sub-arrays and uh, uh, the use of the same principle here. So it means that two antenna panels or two sub-arrays for two beams. This is the case of MIMA 2x2. Or it can be a combination of uh, panels and sub-arrays. Um, if this panel divided into multiple sub-arrays, it can be it can use uh, it can generate multiple beams with uh, multiple spatial uh, multiplexing. For example, this will uh, give us the possibility to use massive MIMA for such system. The key element here, the key uh, element for success for such antenna panels is um, to, re, uh, to uh, perform the uncorrelated pair of beams. Especially this is very important for um, high band, for millimeter waves. And actually that's why in FR1 it can be up to 8 by 8 MIMA. It is possible 8 by 8, but for FR2, FR2 is only possible to use uh, 2 by 2 MIMO. Because for millimeter waves, for high band, um, uh, the propagation uh, is uh, pretty equal from uh, each antenna set, from each antenna sub-arrays. Uh, and um, millimeter waves, uh, it's pretty um, difficult uh, to, um, to divide, to uncorrelate them. So that's why for FR2 only 2x2 two two MIMA is possible and for low bands 8x8 eight eight MIMA. Okay, 
Uh, now let's talk about other aspects of advanced antenna systems. Okay, let's continue to talk about advanced antenna systems in 5G. Uh, let's talk about physical ports, uh, logical ports, and or uh, as it calls sometimes virtual ports. Uh, the thing is that user equipment doesn't know anything about how many cross elements used for beamforming, for MIMA, how many elements uh, consist of uh, such sub-arrays or arrays. The thing is uh, that user equipment can only work with, uh, can only understand uh, logical ports or virtual ports. Let's look at my example. Here you can see massive antenna array with uh, X polarization elements and this antenna array divided into sub-arrays like in previous examples. Uh, here are eight sub-arrays. Uh, for each sub-array we uh, have eight mm, cross elements. So it means uh, it's possible uh, we, we need to um, use uh, this antenna system. We need 16 transmitters, yes? Eight uh, cross elements by two polarization um, but user equipment doesn't know anything about it user equipment can only understand from logical point of view uh, so what does it mean it means that one subarray from logical point of view represent just one uh, just um, two connections uh, for each polarization so this uh, logical port related to this sub-array, this logical port related to this, to this, and yeah, so it means that eight sub-arrays we have, eight logical ports uh, we can represent and use. So uh, let's divide our physical antenna into more sub-arrays. Let's uh, put um, vertical sub-arrays and uh, right now we have um, in two times more sub-arrays so we need um, not 16 but 32 transmitters for operation uh, of such system because um, here sub-array 1 here 2 3, 4, 5, uh, 6, 7, 8, 8 plus 8 right now, 16 sub-arrays used. And of course from logical point of view there will be changes. We need more logical ports for such system. And as you can see here, two vertical, uh, in vertical dimension, two ports and 8 in a horizontal direction, like the same with sub-arrays for physical antenna. Here are the connections uh, from logical point of view. So uh, this one represent this, this port represent this, and uh, so on. Uh, so when it comes to reference signals, when it comes to channel state information reference signals, uh, each uh, CSIRS mapped to uh, each logical port. Uh, we will talk about it later in my next videos. So uh, what else it's important to say is um, that more uh, sub-arrays we have, more transmitters we have to use. Um, it is good in terms of uh, steerability in um, vertical direction or in horizontal direction, but it's not so good in terms of cost. More subarrays we have, um, the more cost, uh, the cost of such system uh, will be higher. So let's move to another aspect. Okay, uh, right now let's talk about physical size. Uh, I hope you know that physical size of antenna related to the frequency uh, 
it operates. So, uh, for example, physical size of antenna for a 3 gigahertz band and uh, 128 expolarization elements would be about 50 by 60 centimeters uh, such antenna panel for 30 gigahertz with the same number of uh, expolarization elements would be just 5 centimeters by 6 centimeters very small uh, antenna array with multiple antenna elements so what does it mean it means that uh, millimeter waves, it means that uh, FR2 bands are very suitable for implementation into smartphones. Uh, let's assume this is a smartphone and um, as far as I know, a new smartphone can be a few, even a few um, antenna arrays for uh, millimeter waves in order to avoid hand overlapping because if you hold your smartphone you can overlap um, you can cover the one of the antenna panel and for millimeter waves everything is obstacle even your hand can drastically drop uh, the quality of signal that's why um, in many smartphones um, deploy multiple uh, arrays for millimeter waves uh, for example here at the bottom or from the another side in order to avoid again uh, hand overlapping and uh, one more thing I want to say is um, is uh, that for mid band for low bands is, is usually used um, hybrid beam forming or digital beam forming so this is mainly um, suitable for hybrid or even for digital beam forming because um, for such um, waves for such frequencies uh, you cannot deploy too many antenna elements is, is usually about 64 antenna elements or around uh, 120x uh, 28 antenna elements so um, you don't have to divide these uh, such panel into multiple sub arrays with uh, multiple uh, tera x with multiple rf chains and um, uh, you can deploy hybrid or digital beam forming uh, because uh, such implementation would not be so cost. For millimeter waves, uh, you can deploy even more antenna elements. It can be uh, like these or 384 antenna elements or even uh, 512 antenna elements. Uh, and of course each antenna elements should be connected to RF chain or even divided further into sub arrays and uh, usually this will be very costly solution if we uh, would use hybrid or digital beamforming that's why for millimeter waves for high band um, at least for the first steps will be used analog beamforming analog beam forming in order to lower the final price for such solution so uh, this was my short lesson about advanced antenna systems in 5g nr if you want to know more about uh, 5g about um, antenna aspects core network aspects about security you can subscribe to my channel and like this video. Goodbye.